Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the SmackDown Live Reaction Show. I'm your host, Glenn Thomas. As always, one fourth of the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, which you can find on Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM and 96.9 FM. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, as well as YouTube. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't ever miss any of our reaction shows, whether it's the Raw Reaction Show, whether it's our podcast, which we drop each and every Thursday morning on Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM and 96.9 FM. FM. But let's get started to the SmackDown Live taping that we saw from Manchester, England. The show started off with Paige coming out to the ring and, you know, getting that England or UK pop as she is from the the United Kingdom. Uh, and she calls out the World Cup winner, Shane McMahon, also the commissioner of WWE SmackDown. He comes out and talks about his World Cup uh, win. He talks about how, you know, he couldn't let the Miz go down and how he wanted the SmackDown brand to be very successful. And so he goes out there and wins the World Cup for the SmackDown brand. Then they talk about Survivor Series, saying he could not let Baron Corbin outdo him. So tonight, they would name a captain for the SmackDown team to beat the Raw team at Survivor Series. And AJ Styles is not the captain, ladies and gentlemen. It is Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan will be the captain of the SmackDown team as Shane General Manager, oh, excuse me, Commissioner Shane McMahon and now former General Manager DB as being the captain. But that was not it, ladies and gentlemen. The Miz takes... He takes a little offense to that, that he should be the captain of the SmackDown team, saying that he really two-thirds of the World Cup should belong to him, but he's been injured. He's never been injured a day in his life. So he should be captain of SmackDown, that he is the A-lister, that he is the primetime show, that he is the man on SmackDown. And so Shane McMahon takes the Miz's argument under consideration and makes the Miz and Daniel Bryan both co-captains of the Raw of the SmackDown team. And throughout the night, we saw The Miz and Daniel Bryan actually kind of agreeing on who they want to be on their team. And the first person they chose to be on their team, well, Daniel Bryan had the first pick. He picked and chose Shane McMahon to be on the SmackDown team, which, you know, Shane at first was reluctant to take. Then he eventually takes the role. So, you know what? I'll be on your team. So we have Daniel Bryan, and Daniel Bryan, The Miz, and Shane McMahon are currently on the the SmackDown team. Then we go into the tag team match where we saw the Usos take on the New Day yet again. And the winner of this match will be able to pick will be the captain of the tag team tag team smack tag team team for the Survivor Series, which is kind of good. I'm glad to see WWE continue to do this because this goes back to the traditional Survivor Series where they had tag teams come together as a traditional Survivor Series match. At least they keep the uh, traditional Survivor Series role here. Uh, in this match, but we had the Usos taking on the New Day winner of the match. Are the Usos? Usos are your captains of the tag team team, and we have the Usos who chose the New Day. Talking about, hey, you know what? We had battles up and down the road. We fought all over the country. We fought all over the world, and there'll be no other tag team on SmackDown that we rather have be as our partners, as except for you, the New Day. So you have on the tag team team right now representing SmackDown you have Usos in the New Day be interested to see who else the New Day put on their team to take on the Raw tag team division later on then we move on to Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch comes out and make a cuts of promo. Say, look, yeah, I open challenge basically to any women in the back. Look, I I supposed to take on Ronda Rousey as a virus series, but anybody want to come out? And then we saw the debut of the insane one, Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross makes her WWE debut. We've seen her on um, debut on Raw, not really wrestle, but was called out and made her appearance known a couple months ago when the Women Evolution was announced. She was out there front and center. Been, been backstage for several months with the WWE, but this time she has an opportunity to take on Becky Lynch, the WWE SmackDown Women Champion, and this match right here lived up to the billing. That's why I like SmackDown. SmackDown gives you matches that you want to see. Nikki Cross's days of NXT is over. We saw last time we saw Nikki Cross on NXT. She was telling Aleister Black who was the person to run him over or who to beat him up. But we saw Nikki Cross take on Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch, Nikki Cross gave Becky Lynch everything that she wanted in this match. But we got Becky Lynch get the win with the armor, and Becky Lynch still is your WWE Women's SmackDown champion as she make Nikki Cross tap out. Very good match here. I definitely got to give this match a two thumbs up. Becky Lynch has developed even more and more as a heel, and as she said, that she is the man because she beat the man to become the man. Well, she should have sure say, "I am the woman who beat the woman because I am." the best woman. Whatever way it is, her t-shirt is kind of hot and hope she sells a lot of those. Then we go on to the match of the night. This match was a pay-per-view match all over the place. You, this match could have been, have been on 
Crown Jewel. This could be the WrestleMania match. Yes, see in almost. Uh, Andreas, he had almost taken on Rey Mysterio. This is a true luchador match. This is why SmackDown is, to, in my opinion, the better brand. Let me know what you think. Is best SmackDown matches are better than Raw or Raw better than SmackDown? In my opinion, SmackDown matches are better because they gave us matches like this. High-flying, Lucha Libre type style match, high, uh, back and forth, technical skills. Rey Mysterio, the winner of this match, would be on the team, would be, would be on Team SmackDown. Uh, Kind of because they were kind of leery about Rey Mysterio said he hadn't really the men said he hadn't really done anything since he back been back to SmackDown that he lost a little bit but Rey Mysterio taking on Cena Elmas here uh, and get picks up the win nonetheless with a six one nine Booyaka Booyaka six one nine gets the six one nine and picks up the pin over Cena but that was not it ladies and gentlemen because after the match out of nowhere you know when we say out of nowhere who actually takes place RKO Randy Orton comes out of nowhere nowhere and RKO's Rey Mysterio in the ring goes all the way back to the Crown Jewel pay per view where Rey Mysterio got a surprise win over Randy Orton to eliminate him from the World Cup tournament uh this view will continue and probably go on maybe next week or the week after next after the survivor series pay-per-view might see a match between these two guys at the tlc pay-per-view in december uh, but ray mysterio picks up the win he is now on team smackdown randy orton hits ray mysterio with the rko then we move on to the announcement of the women the women for the Survivor Series match. We have uh, Paige comes out and announces the c c competitors that will be participating. She mentioned Oscar will be on the team. Sonya Deville will be on the team. Carmella is money will be on the team as well as Naomi. She called out Charlotte Flair who failed to appear on the team. Then that brings out Mandy Rose and Mandy Rose said, "Look, I'm not. I'm the wrong blonde that you're looking for, and I should be on this SmackDown team." And she persists to go down and she goes down the row and to insult every single woman there until she gets to Naomi and she talks about Jimmy Uso and you know what you don't do you don't talk about a black woman's man or touch a black woman's hair and it was on from there Naomi begins to beat up Mandy Rose but nonetheless they two are separated and then we move on to the main event of the evening where is Samoa Joe taking on Jeff Hardy the winner of this match will be the last participant on Team Smackdown for Survivor Series and we saw a hellacious match between Samoa Joe and Matt and Jeff Hardy. This match went back and forth, but nonetheless, we get the, the win. Will Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe with the win over Jeff Hardy. And But that was not it, ladies and gentlemen. We saw Samoa Joe go outside the ring and talk trash to Daniel Bryan. We know that Samoa Joe attacked Daniel Bryan last week on SmackDown, which, you know, would set up something later on if you heard what I said last week. That would set up something later on, but then we saw Samoa Joe get attacked by Daniel Bryan in the yes lock implied. The Miz comes in the ring to break Daniel Bryan up like, look, we need to stay together as a team. Let not this, go ahead and put your feud aside. I put my feud aside with you. You put your feud aside with me, and let's get it done. And not, that that wasn't it. Daniel Bryan didn't have want anything to do with that. He hip tosses the Miz, hits the Miz into the face. Then Shane McMahon comes out and try to stop Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan throws Shane McMahon over hip toss him as well. Daniel Bryan has upset almost everyone on his team as SmackDown is going on. He's tired. He's fed up. He's frustrated. And that's right. Daniel Bryan has attacked everyone. How will Team SmackDown survive heading into the Survivor Series? Will Team SmackDown be able to defeat Team Raw at the Survivor Series? Only time will tell. SmackDown by far is the better show right now the writing on the show maybe because it's two hours but they compact everything in this two hours to keep your emotions high great matches great storylines raw writers may need to take a little bit of advice from smackdown writers seem like this is like the smackdown in the early 2000s when they had the smackdown six if you don't know what the smackdown six is go ahead and google it and look it up uh the smackdown six from the early 2000s in wwe smackdown is on a rise wwe is on a rise survivor series less than a week and a half away Please continue to stay with the Wrestling Marks of Excellence on Twitter at WME Podcast, on Instagram at WME Podcast for more your updates, your wrestling news, and your rumors. Uh, as our podcast drops tomorrow, as we'll be talking about SmackDown, as we'll be talking about Monday Night Raw, as we talk about preview Survivor Series uh, 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification and never miss any of our updates, whether it's the Raw Reaction Show, whether it's the SmackDown Reaction Show, or whether it's our podcast. If you're not confirmed, consider yourself denied. End of story, ladies and gentlemen.